Chelsea 3 2 Manchester City, player ratings as Blues win Women's FA Cup. Sam Kerr netted a brace in a second consecutive FA Cup final as Chelsea ran out two to three extra time victors over Manchester City to secure the 2021 22 crown. Just five months on from sinking Arsenal with a double at Wembley to lift the delayed 2020-21 trophy, the Australian forward again proved decisive as Chelsea won back-to-back -back women's FA Cups for the first time in their history. City started the brighter and had two clear sightings of goal inside the opening five minutes. Carolyn Weir flashed over from close range after being picked out by Lauren Hemp before Hemp saw a goal-bound effort blocked following a surging Georgia Stanway run. After a shaky start, Chelsea grew into the game and were the first to have the ball in the back of the net, Kerr rounding Ellie Roebuck and slotting into an empty net. The Australian international's finish was correctly ruled out for offside. Kerr wasn't to be denied, and in the 33rd minute she had her customary cup final goal, popping up at the back post to meet Millie Bright's in-swinging cross from the right flank. City leveled the scores on the stroke of half-time through regular Chelsea tormentor Lauren Hemp. The winger cut inside Millie Bright and bent a fabulous effort into the top corner to leave proceedings tantalizingly poised at the break. Buoyed by their late leveler, City burst out of the blocks in the second period. A flowing team move started by in her own half by Kara Walsh ended with Hemp, being denied a second goal of the afternoon by the feet of Anne Katrin Berger. But Chelsea retook the lead just after the hour mark and in spectacular style. The effervescent Aaron Cuthbert received the ball on the edge of the box and unleashed a ferocious strike into the top corner off the underside of the bar. With the Blues on the cusp of defending their crown, City found another equaliser. Alex Greenwood picked out Haley Raso with a fabulous cross-field pass, and the substitute shrugged off Magdalena Rickson before firing past Berger to send the game to extra time. A last-ditch Berger intervention kept White out in the first period of extra time following Carolyn Weir's low delivery before the Blues retook the lead for the third time. Alana Kennedy misjudged an innocuous clearance to allow Kerr to race clean through, and the forward's effort deflected in off the sliding challenge of the unfortunate Greenwood. City pushed for an equaliser in the dying stages, but Chelsea held firm to seal victory and complete a domestic double. GK and Katrin Berger seven-tenths comfortably claimed a couple of potentially dangerous Kelly crosses in the first half, saved well with her feet to keep out Hemp in the second of Jess Carter six-tenths, beaten by the magical feet of Hemp on a couple of occasions. Made an important block to keep Stanway out on the stroke of halftime. CB, Magdalena Ricks in five-tenths, bit of an unconventional role, often drawn out to the left to deal with the city right winger. Beaten by Raso for City's equaliser. CB, Millie Bright six tenths, a mixed day, set up Chelsea's opener with a wicked delivery from the right flank, before allowing Hemp to cut inside in the build up to City's leveler. CB, and eat now win six tenths, solid and steady, replaced after 70 minutes. LWB, Guro Riaiten five tenths, the more attacking of Chelsea's wing backs, didn't offer a great deal of protection with both Kelly and Raso both able to affect proceedings down the Chelsea left. Replaced by the more defensively minded Anderson ahead of extra time. CM, Sophie Ingle 7 tenths, did an understatedly good job keeping the usually destructive Weir quiet. CM, Aaron Cuthbert 9 tenths, conceded possession in her own half before making a superb recovery challenge to halt a marauding Shaw, indicative of her tenacious, all action display. Then scored a pretty good w. goal. Pernil Harder 7 tenths teed up Cuthbert for Chelsea's second. Full of running and classy touches. FW, Sam Kerr 8 tenths popped up at the back post to nod home Bright's cross. Looked really lively, caused problems with her pace. Demonstrated great anticipation for her second another decent day out at Wembley for the forward. FW. Bethany England 7 tenths did plenty of harrying and chasing up top, intelligently laid off Cuthbert for Chelsea's second. Replaced after 70 minutes. SUB. Jai So Young 6 10 sub. Niam Charles 6 10 sub. Jesse Fleming 6 10 sub. Jonna Anderson 6-10 sub. Marin Mjeld N-A-G-K. Ellie Roebuck 5-10 bailed City out with a last-ditch tackle in the first half, but unable to get anything on Bright's back post cross in the build-up to Chelsea's opener. Conceded possession in the build-up to Chelsea's second. RB. Lucy Bronze 5-10 limited in her opportunity to bomb forward and have her usual attacking influence on proceedings. CB. Alana Kennedy 4 tenths went into the book for a clumsy challenge on Harder and struggled to deal with the pace of Kerr at times. Misjudged the ball to allow Kerr to get in behind for Chelsea's third.CB. Alex Greenwood 7 tenths swept up well at the back.
got Shaw in behind on the cusp of halftime with a really smart lofted pass. Set up City's equalizer with a trademark cross-field pass in behind. LB. Demi Stokes six-tenths got forward frequently particularly in the second half. Unable to close down Bright in the build-up to Chelsea's opener. CM. Kara Walsh six-tenths played City into trouble on the edge of her own box on a couple of occasions, with a loose pass and a loose touch, but otherwise brave and compassed on the ball CM. Carolyn Weir six-tenths flashed narrowly over in the opening exchanges and saw a tame, long-range distance drive comfortably held. Otherwise kept relatively quiet. CM. Georgia Stanway seven-tenths spun fantastically in the middle of the park to carve open a clear sighting of goal for City inside the first five minutes. Look dangerous whenever driving at the Chelsea backline. RW. Chloe Kelly seven-tenths caused problems in the second half with her quick feet and a selection of smart deliveries. Replaced with 15 minutes remaining. St. Bunny Shaw five-tenths couldn't get her bearings as she headed a dangerous Kelly cross away from goal. Saw another half chance blocked. Looked dangerous, but her final ball was often lacking. LW. Lauren Hemp eight tenths carried City's greatest attacking threat, as is often the case, and leveled the scores with a bending effort. SUB. Haley Raso seven tenths showed great strength and composure to level the scores. A Dream FA Cup final substitution. SUB. Ellen White five ten sub. Laura Coombs five ten sub. Julie Blackstead five ten sub. Vicky Lasada NA.